Hi, my name is Jared. My name is Nurin. My name is Fitra, and we're from Pusat Jenis Pintar Negara, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. The recent flood in Henan, China, record high heat waves in Western USA, last year's bushfires in Australia. These are some of the natural disasters that have brought forth suffering to millions of people worldwide. But the cause might be closer than you think. The United Nations report that the number of climate-related disasters has tripled in the last 50 years due to climate change, evident by this graph made by our world in data. While fossil fuels are very efficient at generating energy, they also release a lot of greenhouse gases being accounted for 74% of total US greenhouse gas emissions in 2019. Fortunately, sunlight can be the key solution as an alternative energy. So Earth receives 430 quintillion joules of energy from the sun per hour. And how much better would it be to extract that energy, which is exactly what solar panels are made for? The principle of energy conservation states that energy is neither created nor destroyed. It may transform from one type to another. Solar panels are made of smaller units called solar cells, which are usually made from silicon. In a solar cell, there are two layers of silicon: an n-type silicon layer that has extra electrons and a p-type silicon layer that has extra vacancies known as holes. Where both layers meet, it is called a p-n junction. At the junction, some electrons will migrate from the n-type layer to fill the holes in the p-type layer, creating a depletion zone. This causes the n-type layer to be slightly positive, while the p-type layer will be slightly negative. When photons hit the solar cells, it penetrates into the depletion zone and provides enough energy to knock electrons off, which are then attracted to the n-type layer. This difference in electron concentration results in a potential difference across two layers. Now, when an external circuit is connected between the two layers, the electrons start flowing to the p-type layer via the circuit and generates current. Recently, a Californian company called Aptera Motors have created the world's first mass-produced solar cars. The vehicle is covered in 3.2 square meters of solar cells, which on a clear day is reported to provide enough energy for the car to go 65 kilometers. In 2019, a CO2 neutral factory has been opened in Germany. The facility, which is operated by ABB, is supported by a huge solar photovoltaic system that has been installed over its car park. That, according to ABB, can supply 100% of its power requirements on a sunny day. Conclusively, we believe that solar energy is an amazing alternative for fossil fuel. Of course, we wouldn't be able to replace fossil fuels completely with solar energy with its current technology. However, if we take small steps in working towards a greener community, it will surely make a significant impact on nature.